G'day guys, it's Brandon Green here. Welcome to the Let's Go Brandon Green podcast where we cover all things David Pakman and uh, let's get into his latest video. Uh, it's got a lot of traction. It's about Trump exploding in hysterical rant over White House cocaine. As we all know, um, Hunter Biden is a well-known cocaine addict of the past. Apparently, apparently it's all over now, but... Uh, and somehow the FBI, which is Team Joe Biden, has leaked, um, or someone has leaked information that uh, they found cocaine in the uh, uh, White House, which to me makes... Yeah, it's quite surprising that someone inside would leak such a thing when they're all on the same team, but maybe things are falling apart in there. Maybe everything is as real as we're told by CNN. And that we are the um, we are the ones that are exposed to fake news all the time. Who knows? Let's try to work it out. Let's try to see what's going on. Failed former President Donald Trump, twice impeached, twice indicted, means nothing. Went on a hysterical, troth sensual rant over cocaine being found at the White House. As I already told you, cocaine at the White House was found in an area accessible to tour groups. It wasn't in Joe Biden's private bathroom. It wasn't in, you know, wh wherever these... Well, we know Sleepy Joe's not on the stuff, so we know that. Right-wingers would love the cocaine to have been found. And Donald Trump went to Troth Central and... So if that's the case, then maybe it was planted there or fell out of some one's pocket there or nothing to do with anyone from Team Joe Biden. So, yeah. ...posted, quote... Does anybody really believe that the cocaine found in the West Wing of the White House, very close to the Oval Office, is for the use of anyone other than Hunter and <laughs> Joe Biden? It's not for Joe. Watch, the fake news media will stu soon start saying that the amount found was very small and it wasn't really cocaine, but rather common ground up aspirin and the story will vanish. <laughs> Has deranged Jack Smith, the crazy Trump-hating special prosecutor, been seen in the area of the cocaine? He looks like a crackhead to me. Huh. This is really, really crazy. I, I wanna remind you, this is the former president of the United States alleging that cocaine found in the White House belongs to the president, Joe Biden and Hunter, and that the man prosecuting him, Jack Smith, is a crackhead, is a crackhead. Now, I think it's important to mention that <laughs> doesn't really make sense. If Hunter Biden was doing coke at the White House, I don't know that he'd be doing it in an area accessible to the public. It just strikes me as something that he wouldn't do. But the right wing's continued obsession with Hunter Biden is bordering on creepy. And no, it's not because Hunter Biden is an absolute dropkick of a human being. What he does is definitely not normal and only 1% of the population can relate to his life between 1% to 5%. Like, it's just not what the done thing is and you know it. Uh, if this is the case and it really was found in the public area and yes 100 percent, david i agree with you it's nothing trump's just firing off a tweet that he does and throwing shit at the wall and hoping something sticks but well you just think cocaine white house fucking hunter biden <laughs> you know that's just what just comes to mind you know you definitely don't think Joe's on it because Joe would be walking a little bit faster and a little bit sharper, I'd imagine, um, if he was really on it. But he's, he would do, I wish he was on something like that. Like, fuck. <laughs> he might be able to speak, you know. But, um, yeah, if it really was found in this public accessible area, you're right, man. It's a nothing burger, probably. And Donald Trump's obsession with Jack Smith is also bordering on possibly stochastically terroristic. I don't know how long it's going to take until someone goes after Jack Smith. And by the way, Trump posted what he believed to be Barack Obama's home address 
and an armed man actually showed up there. We're going to talk about that later, not right now. So Trump losing his mind over co cocaine at the White House. No evidence that it's Hunter Biden's. But later in the show, we are going to talk about some of the other wacky reactions to this bit of news. Really not a major story. Like I said earlier, I have no reason to cover up this story, but there's also not that much to say about it. But we will look at the Fox and Friends discussion about Coke at the White House after this break. Make sure that you were subscribed on YouTube. We are approaching two million subscribers. Yeah, man, two million brain brainwashed deranged individuals with Trump derangement syndrome. Ha! <laughs> but uh, as for the cocaine, man, let's let this story develop further, if it will. Or well, Trump might be right and it just might fade off into anything. Um, if it really was found in the public area, which now makes sense, because if the FBI or whoever it was that leaked the story would rat out their own Joe Biden, why did this story even come to light then if it was in the public area? Or who the fuck? What does public area even mean? Is it like where cleaners go or like no one because oh, i've been to the white house before and that we weren't we were parked outside it but like away and the security guard this was when obama 2009 and we got moved on and we're like fuck we're just taking a picture move on move on they talk to you like men in black kind of thing <laughs> and um yeah so i don't know how the fuck you can even get in there or anything like their security's tight. So whose cocaine was it? 